Right then guys, here we go. The RS 1600i got dropped off yesterday. Um, bit of a barn find as you can tell. Been stored for a number of years. Um, obviously not being used and etc etc. Once a few bits finishing off uh, and it's now here. She is a runner. Uh, I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to clean it. I'll try and make it look like it's something it's not. It is exactly how it is as it sits here down on display at Pickering. So come down, have a look make sure you're happy with it but um, engine wise do not seem to run too bad starts up fine no problem just put a new battery on it uh a couple of other bits can't remember from memory but she's had a she what she does require a bit here and there had a bit of repair work in the past as you can see and uh, is still in the need of a little bit more straight under the bonnet bonnet lips and things are good tidy under the engine bay other than of course there's a couple of bits which i've just pointed out uh spotlights are nice It'll clean up really well in all fairness. Um, wheel arch, lips, flanges, not too bad, they're okay. A few little bits, wouldn't hurt just from sanding back and uh, doing again. She's gonna require a couple of sills. She's a little bit delicate underneath, as you can see, both sides. Um, interior wise, let's have a look. Door cards and things are nice. Door skins are good. Door shuts and things are okay. Interior wise in general, I'll actually clean up really well. Both seats are nice. Steering wheel's good. Dashboard and things. That's no crack to jump out of me. There'll be a little few there. Yeah, few little, two little bits there. Um, but dash cluster and things is nice. Um, 21409 on the clock, make your own mind up about that. Carpets and things, not too bad. Clean up well. Obviously a bit to finish off in the rear, as you can see. Uh, parcel shelf is there though. Rear seats are there, just once all folding back, obviously, to get that. Uh, what is that? Oh, a couple of plates. There you go. Underneath. So uh, they're in there, ready. Um, but yeah, this certainly got the makings of a good car. She's a bit tender around this rear bit as well on both sides. Obviously, it's going to require a set of tyres and things. Wheels aren't too bad, they'll clean up okay. Yeah. I mean, two minds whether to clean it or not, because it, it will actually take it up and clean up real well. Um, hmm, I'll see. Um, gentleman was saying loads of service and bits and pieces with it. There's a good history file there. It's now gone down to Thornton Dale uh, by mistake, so I can't show you it on video. I uh, put it in the completed packs instead of the packs to do. So I can't show you through that, but give the girls a ring and they'll let you know what we've got for it. Gentleman did say there's a fair bit there and I saw it, saw a bit of it myself. Good folder of a few bits and pieces and service and whatnot. Um, I'm about to photograph some numbers in a minute. But if you want to pause the video, see that there, can't really make out too much of that one. And then, of course, might be better photographing there. Uh, I thought they were down here on these, maybe not, I got it wrong. Somewhere around me. There we go. Don't know if you can make that out. Uh, I'll try and get a good photograph of it. But if not, pause the video. That's there. But yeah. We all know they make silly money. But uh, yeah, it requires a bit, guys. I'll just start it up for you actually whilst I'm here so you can hear it run. There you go. Clutch one's looking out, very juddery on the clutch. Um, hang on a minute. But uh, engine wise, there she is. Just about starts up. There she is. Sits down on display at Pickering. Please come down, have a look. Bear in mind these videos aren't to stop you from coming. They are to make you make your mind up really and see if it is one worth traveling for. And uh, yeah, if you'll be happy with it. So um, please come down, make your own checks. 
and uh, and see what you think.